uh, talking about the decision tree learning algorithm that is very important and like uh, up to now we are still using the decision tree in the real world application and real world problems uh, for example uh, maybe you familiar with um, some other algorithms but the um, decision tree is a machine learning algorithm that the human can understand the result from the model for the other algorithms maybe it's too difficult for the human to understand but actually you can understand all algorithm someone said that um, neural network is like uh, the black box model that you cannot understand what is inside that black box but uh, actually if you understand the concept of the machine learning and concept of the neural net network I think that you can understand what represented in the link of the nodes for each node so I hope that you will understand what what inside the models of all learning algorithm for the first one this one is the decision tree learning algorithm and guys I'd like to add some a uh, photo of the machine learning uh, I, I've used this photo that comes from another textbook but if you follow the textbook of um, artificial intelligence and modern approach uh, Professor Stuart Russell and Peter Novick you will see the other trees it is about the uh, uh, the characteristics of the problems that we you will wait for the restaurant or not uh, but uh, um, the tree is like big and I think uh, if I get the examples from machine learning of uh, the machine learning textbook of uh, brother Tom Mitchell I think you can understand it better so I used that example the concept of the data is quite simple uh, you want to play or don't not play tennis check for the condition of the outlook of the humidity of the wind and um, the temperature also uh, the data is like this I'll show you the data this one is the data you have uh, 14 days of the observation uh, each day is the characteristic of the day is like this uh, the, on the first day outlook is sunny temperature is hot humidity high wind is weak and uh, the one who are observing he don't play tennis okay so uh, you have the data for 14 days and your task is to build a tree that can explain when he or she who is the owner of this data will play tennis or not play tennis this is one of the three that can explain when will he play or not play uh, so I think you can see that from the result the representation of the decision tree the human like us can understand it easily right so this is the benefit of using the decision tree so many people use the decision tree in the real world application but not for the classification but he or she they use the decision tree for discovering the knowledge or discovering the patterns of the data like in this case the knowledge of this case is this person will play when the outlook is sunny and humidity is normal this link or the outlook is overcast he will play or if the outlook is rain but the wind is weak play in two cases that he don't play he won't play is outlook is sunny humidity is high he won't play 
and outlook is rained and wind is strong he won't play also so from the data like this from the data like this you have many ways to find the tree of course you can find you can use the breakfast search to find the tree also maybe you don't think that you can use the breakfast search right yes you can use you can start from an empty tree and you have four choices to start from the initial state to four possible trees that can be started here like you can put the outlook in the root node of the tree you can put the temperature uh, humidity and wind as the root node of the tree and for each tree for outlook you have uh, three links right for the temperature you have three or so for the humidity now you have two and for the wind you have two so this is the first starting point of four trees right this is the first successor in this first level after the empty root the empty tree so now from this point you can you can place uh from this tree you can put a uh, outlook and here in the first link of the outlook you can try temp you can try outlook you can try uh, humidity and you can try to add wind in the first node here so so you have to do it to try to fill all links and all nodes until your tree can correctly classify all examples in our training set we have 14 we have 14 days right so it means that we have four, 14 data examples okay so uh, you have to build the tree that can correctly all of them and like this you can this like the brute force way that you can do it but um, in the real world maybe the attributes like we have more attributes than this uh, 20 40 and each attribute has like more values not three of two like in our example so the tree can be very huge so you cannot trace all the tree to build the tree using all possibilities so how can you do it uh, we'll do it in the greedy way I hope that you can still remember two words here right the bread first search and the greedy one so when you use a greedy one you can select the best in some case so you must have the measurement for the best of four right and for when when you when you can select the best one you must insert another node here right another node here another node here so for each point for each point you have to find the best attribute that can correctly classify or that can classify the example that fall into this link so now the question is what is the best measurement that you can use to measure the power of this stringishness or the power of like you have to divide you have to divide the examples into many links so which attributes is the best one that can correctly classify that can distinguish the example you must have 
the measurement. I'll introduce you one measurement in this lesson. That is the entropy. I will explain what is the entropy in the next video clip. But guys, please remember that to measure, to measure the power of the node that can classify or can divide the examples, we will use the entropy to measure. I'll talk about the entropy in the next video clip that is a little bit longer. So this is just an introduction to the decision tree. See you in the next video clip.